ready, Captain. On guard! <laughs> Fancy one last bounce, Captain. <laughs> It's raining swords, Excellency! Captain, what is the meaning of all this? This was a warm-up. You scored quite well, by the way. Do not patronize me. Captain, you lasted eight and a half minutes against, well, me. Ahem! Apologies. Don Esteban Parasol, Viceroy of California. Allow me to introduce the legendary fencing master of Monterey. Maestro Antonio Ramirez de la Poterna. Don Diego de la Vega, very impressed. And this is my friend Bernardo. <clears throat> Given our recent difficulties, I invited the maestro to Los Angeles to train the men in new techniques mm -hmm. to be Sorry. used against Zorro, of course. He has humiliated your men. <clears throat> Yes. And thwarted every single one of your plans to ensnare him. Oh, that bandit was just very lucky, that's all. And bested you in each and every sword fight, did he not? And your point is? Uh, my point? Oh, <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Aha! I too could benefit from Maestro Ramirez's instruction. <laughs> So could you, Don Diego. You must be taught so you can face him. And everyone we trust, soldiers and rancheros, should also be made invincible. And what if that Zorro attacked the De La Vega Hacienda? Or another Hacienda? Or the palace? <laughs> that would be terrible, Viceroy. But it shall not happen. The only problem is, I am against using violence. It ruins spiritual harmony. Oh? <laughs> Why don't you say that to Zorro? Just enjoy it. Consider it <laughs> exercise. Exercise? Under the scorching sun? In this dust and sand? <laughs> Come on, Don Diego. We have a deal. <sighs> a bit of exercise will do us no harm. See you tomorrow for our lesson. <laughs> yes, this pretentious fencing master deserves to be taught a lesson. Huh? I cannot risk being unmasked, so I shall show them the extent of my talent. <laughs> pathetic, worse than pathetic. Ah, very well now. You, soldier, are sure of winning against my grandmother. Frankly, Captain, you haven't given me much to work with. Oh, and still... You've yet to see the worst. Oh. Oh. oh, no, 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 no! Uh, Who taught oh. you to use a sword? My grandmother. Your grandmother, Sergeant? Where? In her kitchen? Oh, in her kitchen, too! But, mm. <laughs> but... Uh, Silence, uh, Sergeant! We've not come here to hear about your family life. This Zorro must know every attack, every thrust taught by your very, very basic, archaic, simplistic repertoire. In short, bad, totally bad, worse than bad, badissimo, pathetic, appalling. So, we must teach you a new move, a secret thrust of my own invention that he cannot know. The Maestro's Thrust! On guard! Attack, Sergeant! But, uh, why me? Because you're a Sergeant! Sergeant? Hmm? Sir, huh? if the Sergeant is not up to the task, I am at your disposal. What? You? A Corporal? And who said I'm not up to the task? Uh, you did. Oh, that. That was a, a strategy. <laughs> On guard! <laughs> Oh. Ah. Oh. oh! That, Sergeant, is your new secret thrust against Zoro. Sidestep his attack, switch hands, slice oh. down, slice up, disarm, then uh. in for the finish. Move, uh. Sergeant. We haven't got all day. Yes, Captain. We'll try it at half speed. Oh. Hunger! Uh. Now switch! Got it! Oops! 
Oh, well, keep working on it. With some effort, you should nail it down. For the 20th century. At least, I hope so. You'd ah. better master Maestro Ramirez's instruction immediately. Uh, yes, Captain. Or you will find yourself back on laundry duty. Maestro! Maestro! On guard! <laughs> oh, I, I did it! <laughs> Captain! Maestro! Did you see? Uh, did you see I... <laughs> oh. Oh, at least you saw me, right, Gonzalez? I saw nothing. Huh? Nothing at all, Sergeant. All right, gentlemen. Well, Maestro, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Proceed. <laughs> Don Diego, that is a ceremonial sword? Ah, it is indeed. It was a gift from my father, Don Alejandro de la Vega. And it is completely inappropriate for sparring. Really? But it's so pretty. This is a real work of art. You should hang it up on some huh? wall. Let's just find you something a little bit more, um, uh, suitable. Excellency, you say such frightening things. Do we really have to fight? So far, I'm not very impressed. I'll go easy on him. But Maestro, he'd take that as disrespect. No, you must treat him as if he were Zorro himself. As I would Zorro, but your Don Diego might not survive such an encounter. Hmm. I can live with that. No, this one isn't even shiny. Now, Don Diego, before I begin my instruction, I must assess your skill. So, raise your blade and prepare. Uh, uh is it supposed to be this heavy? On guard! Whoa! Hey. Ha. Hey! Is this quite necessary? It is, Don Diego. It's high time you improved your skills with the soul. These lessons have lost all entertainment value. I believe it is now time for me to take my leave. Oh? But, Don Diego, don't you want to improve your skills? What if Zoro attacks? Come on, you're nearly there. One can only hope that Zoro has the good taste to attack with a ceremonial sword. And then we may both stand there admiring our blades with no damage done. <laughs> Completely incompetent. Ready for your uh, lesson, Excellency? Me? Oh, uh, well, of course. <laughs> oh! Huh? But my lumbago is acting up today. Ah, uh, ah, uh, perhaps we could postpone my lesson? As you wish. By that time, perhaps De La Vega will be ready for lesson number two. When pigs fly. No, maestro. I'm afraid you've scared our good friend Don Diego away. What a pity. Hmm. Yes, such a good friend who gives up so easily. Yes, Captain. A friend who has just returned from Spain. And a very elegant caballero who honors us. Elegant? Indeed. Have you seen the way Senorita Carmen looks at him? <laughs> I bet you wish she looked at you that way. If the Senorita saw how he handled a blade, she wouldn't give him a second huh? glance. I must admit, poor Don Diego wouldn't last long in one of our famous competitions. <laughs> What a brilliant idea, sire! Is it? Absolutely. Zorro won't be able to resist showing up, too. And then, gentlemen, I know how to eliminate Zorro. No, I do. I did get the idea, after all. Brilliant! Oh. That sums it up perfectly. You know what, Captain? <laughs> I surprise myself every day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Monasterio has organized a competition. A great fencing competition. Mm. Uh, tomorrow at noon, in honor of Maestro Ramirez, the winner will receive as a trophy a beautiful, oh. solid gold medal. Oh, thank you, Doña Maria. What a wonderful mm. cook you are. What a wonderful wife you would uh. make. Hmm? A soldier spends hours with his backside on his horse just to fulfill his duty. 
without anything to eat. Ow! Ow! Oh. It sounds frightful. Frightful? Do you think so? Uh, shapely, yes. Impressive, yes. But frightful. Not your backside, Sergeant. The contest. It's scheduled for noon, but I never rise before two. But you have to take part in it. For the De La Vega's honor. That's just inhuman. <sighs> if the son will not compete, then the father should. <gasps> father, no. It's too dangerous. But Don Alejandro, would you worry your daughter by taking such a risk? I assure you, my father would do nothing. I'm in. But father, you are too old for that kind of thing. Old? Me? <laughs> I'm still in my prime. Hmm. Fine, I will compete. Regretfully, but since it has to be done, I will compete uh. in our father's stead. And I will make sure no harm comes to Don Luis. Mmm! Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. huh? oh, adios! Oh. Hmm. Senores, on guard! Ah. Sure, one peso. Do you want to put me out of business? The house doesn't do credit. Buy a favor. A favor to give your beloved. I also have some authentic lucky charms. The winner will take home the Medal of Honor, granted me by His Majesty, our good King of Spain, in person. A treasure made out of real, solid gold. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Diego, don't you have someone special you'd like to give a favor to? Senoritas, it was impossible for me to choose between the radiance of two bright suns. There is no need, Father. The captain has already seen to it. Diego! <gasps> Ugh. Don't overdo huh? it. She's my friend. But you do know this is to protect her. <gasps> Get out! I'll be honored to escort you, senorita. How sweet of you. And now, <sighs> Senor Don Diego de la Vega against Corporal Ignacio Gonzalez. Gentlemen, on guard! <laughs> Diego, raise your sword! You're supposed to preserve the honor of the De La Vegas, not sully it. Father, I can't hold my sword and use my fan at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Diego, we've not gathered here to fan ourselves. Could Bernardo huh. possibly do it then? I feel so hot. Huh. If he could just stand behind me like that. Diego, look out! Whoa. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Diego, are you all right? Of course I'm not all right. This shirt is made of silk. Now it's stained, probably damaged beyond repair. Perhaps my Spanish soap could... Uh, quick, take me home, Bernardo. Not exactly a champion with the blade, <laughs> is he, senorita? Mm. Mm. The De La Vega's honor deserves far better than that. I shall take part in this competition. Father, no! Well, my friends, that's one objective reached. You made a fool of your rival in front of the girl, but there's still no sign of Zorro. <laughs> Trust me, he'll be here. Quick, Bernardo. We mustn't keep our friends waiting. They are so eager to catch Zorro. <laughs> Congratulations! Congratulations! Bravo, my friend! Bravo! <laughs> and our semi finalists are Captain Monasterio and Don Luis Villalonga. So, enjoying yourself, Don Luis? 
I am captain. In fact, I may just win the day. And our famous maestro's medal. Oh, will you now? <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> on guard! <laughs> 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 Captain, this is a friendly contest, not a fight to the finish. Still think you'll win the day, Don Luis? <laughs> Enough! Stop this, Captain. <laughs> Zoro. Zoro. I'm here for your contest, Captain. Zoro. You are going to wish you hadn't come here to taunt me. I hope that I'm not too late. <laughs> oh, two against one. <laughs> you are really spoiling me. <laughs> oh, good work there. You've been practicing, Captain. I see the maestro's lessons everyone is talking about have not gone entirely to waste. Missed! Is horrible. <laughs> uh, why? Is he wearing a silk shirt too? <laughs> so, Captain, how is the water? Get off me, you fool! No, Captain, my turn. Now, this is between Zoro and the Maestro. In other words, me. That is why I'm here to see if Zoro can out Maestro the Maestro. <laughs> well then, on guard. <laughs> You are good. I'll give you that. But I am even better. Zoro! Even if that were true. Huh? Oh? I do have other skills. For example, my penmanship. Huh? Huh? <laughs> then, there are my barbering skills. Maestro, you will be so much faster without that mustache weighing you down. Hmm? No! My mustache! You're welcome. <laughs> so, my fellow Angelinos, who has won the captain's contest? Oh! <laughs> Gracias, amigos! Soldiers, apprehend that fiend! Oh, Captain, my Captain! Have I overstayed my welcome? Sergeant, oh. the secret thrust! Huh? Whoa. Wow! Garcia, you executed that maneuver perfectly! Oh, do you really think so? Yes, it was brilliant! Mm. Whoa. <laughs> Adios! Adios, Zoro! <laughs> Garcia! Oh. Oh. What a lovely medal. Please do thank his majesty for me. <laughs> but for now, I must be off. And you call yourself a maestro. What are you master of, huh? The art of the humiliating defeat. Oh, but I seem to recall he defeated you before mm. me. 
What do you mean, you pathetic second-rate fencer? <laughs> It's too bad Diego missed the show. I think it would have been educational for him. <laughs> I can't believe Zoro faced all those formidable swordsmen on his own. I still shudder at the thought. The sentiment huh? does you credit, senorita. <gasps> Zoro! <laughs> for the honor of the De La Vegas! Viva El Zoro! <laughs> Viva El Zoro! Viva El Zoro! Viva El Zoro! Viva El Zoro! Ha, 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 ha.